What is up, everybody? Scratch coming up with another Raid Shadow Legends video, and today, guys, that would Jedi did something, okay? He created the most OP team in the entire game, and guess what? That's the Scranabis team. And I have here on the channel today, <laughs> Napkex and YST. What's up, guys? How are you doing? Are you ready to wreck the entire game? Because we've been put together as a team, and like this is absolutely the most dangerous team in the entire game. What's up, guys? How's it going? Yeah, we're good. It's, it's unfair to <laughs> these other teams. So they're not going to know what's going to hit them. <laughs> I feel the same. I feel the same like like a hurricane, you know? I'm, go I'm even going to play that song just... I came in like a wrecking ball. Basically, guys, we have a faction event for whoever is not aware just yet. Again, organized by Deadwood Jedi, and we have Platinum backing us out, so we're going to do everything on the test server. A lot of fun. I feel like... Uh, it's gonna be pretty good. We had the, the clan boss one before. YST was in that one as well. We had a we had a blast overall. You guys enjoyed it. But now we have something different. So me, YST, Napkex were actually in the same team. If you guys can see on the screen, we actually have a couple of other teams competing against against us. But how do you guys feel about that? You, you feel like it's a big threat there, or you think we're just gonna swoop in, take the cup, go home, celebrate, get drunk? I'll let I'll let Nub Raid start. Go on. Sure. Uh, I'm definitely most scared of, uh, I think, Team CSI. Uh, they got, I think, the best factions overall. You know, I think Dark Elves has the potential to really crush some of these dungeons. Sacred Order is insane for Hydra. So I think they're pretty well set. I said, I'm most intimidated probably of Hell Hades. You know, he's got a, he's got a team. It's not just Hell Hades. It's uh, Hell Hades and the <laughs> Hell Hades team. So that's very intimidating on Demon Spawn, the best faction. Uh, but I'm not as scared of High Elf Shadow again. I don't know. What do you guys think? Uh, uh, I think... YST, yeah. yeah, for me, I would say probably the Team CSI as well is probably the hardest one. But then once again, as you said, HellHades.com is just like a powerful <laughs> team. So, um, yeah, I think if I was to have any, if I was to say, yo, what is your dream team? It would be the Dark Elf. So, Smiley, congrats. But mm -hmm. we'll see how things go. Yeah, absolutely. Now, leaving all the banter on the side, guys, we're actually in a bit of a, a bit of a pickle here, okay? We have some good factions as well, but there's so many good factions in the entire game, right? We have the CSI team, we have the GOAT squad team, and each one of them, they have very powerful uh, factions in each, in each one of the teams, let me put it like that, and there is a threat from everybody. So, all the three mm -hmm. teams are very well balanced. We're all going to do it on the test server, so that means we're going to have access to the new champions. We can go crazy, move all the gear around and do the craziest things that we would want to do with our accounts without actually messing them up so we don't have to do the cleanup after but i personally <laughs> think as well that the demon spawns are pretty dangerous now mm -hmm. we we actually kicked out champions from each faction so we're gonna make it a bit harder we're not just gonna let them yeah you're gonna get kaimar you're gonna get another champion and wreck all the dungeons no 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 it's not gonna be as easy so we actually had two Vero champions. Each one of us did two champions, right? If I'm not mistaken or something like that. Or one champion yeah, yeah. each. I can't even remember, but... Yeah, yeah it was funny. Kaimar was one of the first champions to be banned because of the reset thing. But uh, I've got Knight Revenants. Uh, no one banned Renegade, so... Uh, <laughs> I can totally use Renegade for my, my teams. Absolutely. Which is pretty nice. That's going to be good, yeah. <laughs> Actually, it's good. I'm surprised that they haven't banned my Husk, for example, in there, which is kind of like the uh the other enemy max hp left to do it so for whoever mm -hmm. is not familiar guys we're gonna do kind of like a competition so each one of us had a, a faction assigned we picked the faction and from there we're actually gonna compete with the opponent teams in uh, two different areas of the game so me i'm gonna have arena i'm gonna have uh, the spider dungeon and i have the undead faction napkex has the night revenant faction and he's gonna do the hydra clan boss because why not? We got to put him to, to do some work in there. And he's going to do the Ice Golem. YST has the Orcs. Don't ask me why, because we're going to ask him in a second. <laughs> and <laughs> from there, he cannot use Seer and Warlord. But it's good because he doesn't have those champions. And he's going to do the Dragon and the Fire Knight, okay? From the Goat Squad team, uh, MTG Jedi has the High Elves. And I'm not 100% sure what content are all doing at the moment. That's something that is going to be mentioned in different videos so keep an eye on that with jedi's channel as well check out all these content creators they have awesome awesome uh, channels as well tons of great content and hell hades has the demon spawn Layla has the shadow king faction from the team csi 
I, I'm always thinking of Counter Strike. When I see CS, <laughs> I'm like Counter Strike, you know, and I'm like, oh, oh, it's not Counter Strike actually, something else. But yeah, Ivy Lee has the Sacred Order. We have Smiley with the Dark Elves, pretty pretty dangerous, and Cold Brew with the Dwarves. Now, out of these factions, how you guys can see on the screen, we actually vetoed some champions from our uh, team. We cannot use Seer, we cannot use Warlord, we cannot use Calvalax, we cannot use Sifi, Hegemon, or Mashalt, right? So, I feel like we've got it pretty, pretty good, guys. Like, mm -hmm. we really baited with those with those drops there. I know Seer was great, but then YST... Actually, wait, can you explain us why you picked the Orc faction first? And then we're going to move over to talk about the, the Veto champions and stuff. Yeah, so basically, before the actual draft went live, whoever was there on the live stream would have seen that I wasn't there for the first one half or three quarters and I was actually at work so I've gone and listed a bunch of factions that I thought would be like good picks and I kind of put orcs on the top of my list <laughs> so <laughs> so but I didn't actually intend it to be like that but I'm all good with it you guys know that I'm a bit of a weirdo with these niche champions so hopefully we can showcase a bunch of new champs that I've never played with before so for me from a theory kind of aspect of it, I'm looking forward to it, personally. Yeah. And, Let's see how it goes. Yeah, and if by any chance dwarf, if Dwarfs was not picked, are you, are you go, what are you going to go for Dwarfs just to, to play around with Cornelia? <laughs> probably. <laughs> to be honest, like if I was to have my first pick, it probably would have been the Shadowkin, because I don't know if I want to say it, because I don't want Layla to get some sneaky <laughs> ideas, but I've done stuff before with that faction in very fast times. So Shadowkin would have been my probably go-to if I didn't get mm. one of the better ones. But Dark Hills was probably my first pick if I was to get it. Yeah, that got picked instantly. If I'm yeah, not instantly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what about you, Napkex? How are you feeling about your Night Revenant faction? Yeah, I'm feeling really good about it, actually. So I, I was kind of figuring I'd be focusing on Hydra. Um, and I was looking through the factions I actually had uh, to figure out what I would pick. So I think that, you know, Sacred Order is without any shadow of a doubt, pretty much got to be the best faction for Hydra. But I was missing a ton of the key champions for that. Um, so I was, I was looking through the factions that I had, and I thought Knight's Revenants actually, or Knight Revenants, are, are really, really strong. Uh, especially with this patch, you know, like getting in, we've got Walking Tomb Drang now. So they've got AoE HP Burn, which is going to be really important because we don't have any block buffs, right? So to deal with the Poison Cloud, I need him. So I was very glad he didn't get banned away. Uh, we've got Shemnath in there now in this patch for some AoE nuking. And yeah, I just felt like, you know, we've got Doom Priest and we've got Rector Drath. So that's two ways to deal with Head of Torment. Uh, Renegade's in there for a reset. I just felt like it was a really flexible faction that's going to be difficult to ban out, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, so that's, that's kind of, kind of why I went for it. And it was, actually worked out really well with the, uh, the champions that were banned against us because they targeted, uh, Calvalax and Hegemon, which are two champs I don't even have. Uh, but they drew the bands away, so that actually worked out really well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I think we all got we all got away with like some pretty good bands. I don't think. Yeah. <laughs> like literally, none of them affect any of our squads anyway. So it's just like a waste of all six, pretty much. Yeah, actually, that's pretty what much. that's what I kind of meant like at the beginning, guys. Like we got so lucky with the the champions that they vetoed out of our teams because we weren't planning to use them. Like I don't have Calvalex. Actually, nobody has Calvalex from our uh, team here. So that's a great a great win there, Hegemon. <laughs> And uh, that was uh, from a Nubs uh, faction. He wasn't planning mm. to do Arena anyway, and he doesn't have him either. So that's another win-win. They removed Seer from my... Uh, Sifi from my team, sorry. I knew that they were going to get baited for it. Sifi, she's she's an amazing champion. She's good for Arena, right? But I feel yeah. like she, she was not going to help me in the Spider dungeon whatsoever, not to make a, a, a fast run or in any other dungeon, you know what I mean? And mm -hmm. I, feel, I feel like I can leave doing Arena without Sifi. I still have Nacrit in there. There's so many strong champions in the in the Undead. And I'm surprised they haven't banned my Husk. They haven't banned Creep King. If they were banning Creep King yeah. Ral, the Spider was going to be an issue. I'm not going to lie about that. <laughs> but then they picked Mashal for some reason. So I'm I'm pretty happy with the, with the bans that we had. From YST, actually from the Orc faction, they banned Seer. It's true. Once you, you take Seer out of this faction, it doesn't look that great anymore, you know? So it, it is pretty, pretty hard to make any sort of speedruns with, with this faction. And speedruns, yeah. I'm talking 30 plus seconds, because we are doing stage 20 on dungeons. We're doing a hard mode on Hydra. I keep forgetting to mention this, because I'm so used to go to stage 25 Nightmare Hydra, you know? But we're not actually doing the, 
<laughs> the highest difficulties and they ban warlord and you don't have warlord or seer you finally pulled your seer this weekend but because they added the account on the tesser for a while ago you basically yeah. don't have access to her so very good uh, drops from uh, from our team i think <laughs> yeah but the only other thing here is even if i had a seer right i think for stage 20 and there's no reset champions i wouldn't have even used a seer personally i think it's a lot quicker to do it with two nukers yeah though the, yeah, if so. if we would be able to replay the same stage over and over and yeah. over again and just to get the try with try with some uh, refresh accessories you could probably cut a pretty decent yeah. time but that's gonna take you a, a lot of time and we only have three tries Real. live on yeah. stream so the best one <laughs> is gonna win from there you know so it is pretty pretty dangerous like we play a game of rng so it's gonna be a fun one overall <laughs> And uh, from the team GOAT squad, so if we're going to talk about the demon spawns, there's so many powerful champions in here, man. Like, honestly, I do think it's the most powerful faction in the entire game. If you're yeah. trying to cripple the, the spider team from here, it's going to be impossible just because you have so many HP burn champions. So what we've done here, I think Smiley banned Kaimar instantly. I was like, yeah, you got to do that. You know, like Kaimar needs to go out because he's the one that uh, kind of like allows you to do a lot of crazy things but then considering that we are doing stage 20 well, you're going to be able to one shot most of the waves with a fairly decent nuker and we have the new champion napkex actually banned the haprak dude i haven't tested him out just yet i still gotta play around with this champion to see what he can do but i've heard yeah, he a lot hits. of uh, a lot of great stuff about it <laughs> yeah he hits very hard <laughs> yeah so i feel so like people were worried about it yeah yeah, especially because it's on the test server. That's a champion that every single person has. So no matter who got it, pretty much no matter what, dun well, not really for Spider, but for any of the other dungeons, really clearing through the waves or nuking the boss, he does a lot of damage. I, I think that he has like a 3.6 multiplier in his AoE, but it can hit twice and it also ignores 15% defense. So I think like if he if he does trigger the second hit, like he hits substantially harder than a Trunda does. But it's just harder to trigger the second hit. Yeah. But like, yeah, for stage twenty, I was just thinking, like, he, he's literally gonna one shot every single wave, <laughs> like, no problem. Mm. Um. So yeah, he's pretty scary. Even for the arena, he would have been a bit of a problem, I think. Yeah, arena as well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, like that's gonna was... be dangerous yeah. there. Yeah. And then I haven't seen him in Hydra actually. I didn't test that, but like maybe he'd be kind of nuts there as well. I don't think as good as Trunda, but uh, because she has the crazy A2 stuff going on. Mm, yeah. But he could have been really strong there as well. So he's just strong, strong everywhere. I thought that was kind of the best idea with the bans. Was it's kind of tricky, you know, because it's like, do you ban a champion that's that's really good for one area, but one area only, and then maybe it's not that useful, or do you ban something like you know the Kaimar? Or Royal Guard that are like really OP in, in pretty much anything that they're going to go into in the competition. So. Mm. Mm. Yeah, and uh, we actually knocked down Cecia as well. We haven't worried about Duchess as much, honestly, because she's great. She's pretty slow while she's using her A1, putting shield on your team. You're going to go drink <laughs> a coffee, even go at the pub, come back, <laughs> and you still haven't yeah. finished the run. Yeah. So she's very strong in Hydra, don't get me wrong. I feel like she's going to be able to carry the team depending on yeah. what other champions he's using there, but she's not going to be great in dungeons. She's going to be good for arena as well. But again, yeah. in arena, it's going to be timing as well. How fast you're going to be able to knock their defenses. Because basically, I, from what I understood, every single one of us will put a defense composed only from the, the faction that we have. And everybody who does arena, me and the other two guys, I can't remember exactly who does arena. I think Smiley and... Uh, MTJ Jedi, if I'm not mistaken. We're all going to attack all the teams. And whoever gets the best time is going to get more points, you know. So it's going to be very important to have a, a stalling defense. Very important to have a fast offense. And I feel like Duchess is going to allow them to have a decent defense. But offense-wise, it's not necessarily the, the right champion you're looking for. So I'm, I'm, I'm very happy with the CCR ban instead, you know. Because she's a very, very powerful champion as well. Yeah, 100%. That defense thing is going to be crazy as well. I'm interested to see the defenses <laughs> on the day. My yeah, God. I didn't realize that we had to do it with our own factions. That's actually going to yeah. be quite fun. Yeah, like yeah. it would be fun to see. <laughs> yeah, definitely. It's going to be pretty fun. Like, you know, so, wait, is like... That, so that's how it's going to work? Like the quickest clears overall? Yeah. Okay. That's what I understood. 
I've got a nice little store team for them. So. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to switch around all my champion gear to gear them for arena, and then swap them back to dungeons. <laughs> and everybody was worried here. Why nobody banned Allure? Fire Knight. She is a monster. Yeah. She is a monster on stage 25. But we are doing stage 20. She is weak affinity. And correct me if I'm wrong, guys, but I've done a lot of speedruns on the dungeon, stage 20, stage 25, and I've never used her on stage 20. Any of you guys? Maybe back in the day when, yeah, <laughs> when I, I was going to do it for the first time and stuff. But nowadays, now. there's so many. As long as you've just got like a 10 meter reduction champion and a bit of decreased speed, the shield's not going to come back up, in my opinion. Yeah, on stage yeah. 20, it's going to be much yeah. easier than stage 25. So I feel like she's not. They might not even use her there, honestly. I'll, I'm, I'm going to be surprised to see if they're, if they're using her or not, but we're going to get mm. uh, get to see. Then we have the CSI. We had a few good bans in there as well. We actually banned from the dwarves. So somebody banned Geomancer. It was going to be powerful for Hydra. I feel like for dungeons, it wasn't going to be that great because he does melt bosses, no. but not really the, the dungeon bosses. Now, what do you guys think about that? I think the Geomancer was a good pick because if they got a Geo, it would be really hard against the Hydra. Like, mm. especially on hard, I think. Yeah. I don't know. It is a hit and miss because you do have that Walking Tomb Dreng. So it would just be kind of a race of who can survive the longest, right? But mm. I think Geomancer overall, for, mainly just for Hydra, I think that would be like their only shot with that, personally. Yeah, mm. the only the only thing with Geomancer, I don't believe that Dwarves have any perfect veil. And I don't think they have any way to remove the fear either. So... I feel like Geomancer could, would have been really, really risky that he just keep fearing himself with his A1 against Torment. Which rotation is it right now? Is it Torment? We, no, we don't have the head of Torment. But it so, can what? spawn back so, in though, right? It can, of on course, the, yeah. On the test server, it's rotation 5 right now, but I'm pretty sure it, it's supposed to change before the Hydra ah, event. Okay, okay. So sorry. I didn't tell anyone this because I checked it beforehand and I checked what heads were going to come up. But I didn't <laughs> want to tell anyone to hopefully bait them into picking the wrong thing. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it, I mean, presuming it goes from uh, rotation 5 to rotation 6 now on the test server, presume, I mean, it could do anything, but I'm presuming it will do that. So Head of Torment will be in. I think it's going to be Decay. Uh, torment mischief and wrath i think mm. so suffering and blight aren't going to be in the starting which is okay. it's actually pretty good rotation but yeah torment will be there which makes sacred order very scary i wonder Geomancer if they'll though, actually reset so the servers though it's just gonna be that gamble right yeah, yeah it, it is Probably. a gamble yeah i know <laughs> it would suit me well if it's rotation six i think so i hope it is <laughs> uh some other rotations would be worse um then we had Tranda banned from here. She is very dangerous on the hard hard mode Hydra. With that A2, she's literally going to do like, pff, my God, so much damage. And considering yeah. that Brogni is left in here, it's kind of like a, a, a pick between Brogni and Tranda. So considering that they cannot do speed runs with Brogni, we have to take yeah. out Tranda. You know what I mean? So Tranda went mm -hmm. out instantly. Very, very good uh, choices there. From the Sacred Order, because that's what we were talking about. Venus and Cardiel got kicked out. Now, they still have a bunch of strong champions here, right? Like, we have Cupidus, which now has AoE HP burn. That's going to be great for the Spider team if they choose mm. to go with that. We have yeah. Astralon that can stun AoE the entire, uh, the entire wave there. So, again, it's going to speed up a bit the run. And we have quite a few good epic champions. We have Mordecai. They have Shamael for, uh, for the Hydra clan boss. Phoenix deals, uh, deals good damage, plus many other... Uh, Solid champions overall, including Cardinal as well in there. Now, Ooh, yeah, mm -hmm. Cardinal is going to be a tricky one. She will, she will be for Arena if yeah, they do yeah. Arena. I'm not 100% sure exactly what they're doing, but guys, make sure you check out their channels and you're going to find out everything there because I'm not sure which content uh, is, is done by which one of them just yet, you know. And we have from the last faction, the Dark Elves. This is such a powerful faction. I'm so scared about this because there's so many <laughs> crazy champions. So we had removed Coldheart. We had to kick her out instantly. No way she was going to stay in there. And we kicked Lydia. Now, I do have a bit of a regret with Lydia. She is pretty mm. slow as a champion, you know. She doesn't have very fast animations. She would have been very strong with the defense down and weaken. But maybe, maybe she wasn't as important. I feel like... Maybe it was better if we were trying to knock down Xavier or a uh, Rural, something like that. Because I feel like right now yeah. they could create some some pretty solid things around to to 
to wreck the dungeons, you know. Yeah, I think, guys Zavia, think? I think the regret would be Zavia, personally. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> Lydia, Lydia's like drop defense and weaken, but you don't really need that against stage 20. As long as you've got drop defense on, you mm. can nuke, pretty much. So, yeah, I don't know. But then Lydia is good for Hydra as well. Yeah, I, I'd swap yeah. the Geomancer ban for a Zavia ban if... Like, we didn't do the Geomancer ban, but... No, we haven't done it any ourselves, yeah. Yeah, to switch any of them, I think Zavia would be much much better ban than geomancer because she just is going to destroy all the pretty much all the level 20 dungeons with the poison explosion and dark yeah. kales in the faction to let her do it so yeah that's kind of spooky <laughs> yeah it is that that's going to be pretty pretty nasty so this is my main concern my my regret we pick lydia so I, that was a bit of our uh, our fault there but hey we're mm. gonna see what happens if we're gonna get wrecked we're gonna Take it like like real man's because was our uh, was our thing there. No, yeah, I think the the main thing here is just to have fun though, right? Like build some absolutely. new teams and everyone yeah, get yeah. together. Like for me, that's what I enjoy. Like if I lose, I lose, but as long as I had fun doing it, <laughs> that's like the main thing, right? A bit of yeah. banter, you know, like that, that's yeah. that's what I'm up to. Just we're the best team. We're gonna we're gonna wreck y'all, you know. That's that's <laughs> yeah. how you gotta go. Just have a bit of fun, you know. Whatever happens, yeah. happens. You know, talk shit a bit and. Then take it. <laughs> if you lost it, just take it. But I'm I'm looking forward to it. In the next days, they're gonna be dropping tons of videos out on everyone's channels, guys, talking about their teams, their events. So how I mentioned, I'm doing arena, I'm doing the spider dungeon. My faction is fairly solid all around. We have tons of different champions. I have Nacrit in there. I have uh, loads of champions to work with, and um, I'm feeling pretty confident about the things that I have going. How I mentioned, it's going to be a bit of an RNG because there are tons of Force Champions in here as well. But <laughs> we're going to leave this for a, for a different video. Make sure you guys head over and check out YST. Napkex, the link will be in the description down below. Guys, it was a pleasure to, to have you on the channel. If you want to let uh, the people know what exactly is happening with your channels, what uh, sort of stuff you have prepared for the near future. Go, well, sure. Mr. Nubrates. Okay, sure. Uh, yeah, well, I'm going to be doing some videos as well, talking about uh, this event and like uh, some of my thoughts and what I'm doing and I'm going to break down my teams obviously when we get to that I'm a couple of the later events I think in the competition though so it's going to be a little while I've got some time to work on those um, and then I, I've been really lazy I haven't actually worked out what videos I'm making this week I think I'm going to do a video on Tomb Lord this week so I'm going to work on that for tomorrow but that's it uh, but yeah I just you know uh, I do a lot of Hydra videos stuff like that so if you guys are into Hydra um yeah, well, come check it out. I, I, I'm really having fun, actually, with this one faction idea. So I might do some more stuff like that as well. It could be a bit of a laugh. With some Absolutely. random factions. Yeah. YST? For me, I'm just here. Building <laughs> <this. laughs> <laughs> Talking about Jing one every week and all that stuff. But yeah, in all seriousness, um, I've got back into my clan boss stuff, which I'm really excited about. It, I kind of took a big break on it because... I don't know. It's just really gear intensive, right? But then since we've got like the test server and stuff, it really does help me out in trying to mm. theory craft again. Um, we, I'm actually the first one to do this event as well. So the dragon is very soon. So I need to get on my bike and kind of <laughs> sort my team out before you guys do. So yeah, just I guess just check that out with Deadwood Jedi and stuff in the next day or two, I think. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Talking about Jing Wan, because you've seen I've been away for the last three weeks. This is literally what I asked them to do with the with the, with the passive. Make it AOE, make it like a counter for Kaimar. It's going to be pretty fun. How do you feel about that, man? Because you, you're the guy who pronounces Jing Wan better than anyone else in the entire world. Are you happy right. with the buff? I'm going to say... It wasn't <laughs> worth me saying it 5,000 times. I'll say that. <laughs> <laughs> it's, but... it's a decent... But I'll tell you what my issue is with it. I think my issue is, is the passive cooldown. If they could make that every single turn or a one-turn cooldown... I think then I would say, yes, he's going to be like S tier. But that four turn cooldown for me is just still, it's mm. just too long, I think. Yeah, a two turn cooldown would, would definitely fit in yeah, much, four much turns better. Is, because he does have a great kit because you bring him into some areas like even the Frost Spider, I was trialing him out, right? Like trying to see how much he can just take the freezes off and keep everyone going. But you got to wait four turns again. It's like, how many times is Jing Wong going to take a turn? 5,000 <laughs> times. Jing Wong, yeah, Jing Wong, well, Jing Wong. <laughs> Jing Wong, Jing Wong, Jing Wong. Uh. But, but guys, we're going to improvise this. So at three, we're going to be like, hooray, we're going to win it, right? So three, mm -hmm. two, one, hooray. Hooray. The rest hooray. are going to get wrecked. We kind of, we kind of <laughs> messed it. But you guys, you guys got the drill here. We're the winners. We'll catch you all in the next video.
Peace.